think here, you know, we're seeing a phenomenon of, of older patients, and actually all patients, that have skeletal muscle loss. And we're just starting to learn, you know, what ways that that's important and how it impacts treatment. I think we already know that older adults in particular, and over the lifespan, these patients are losing a lot of muscle mass, and that that's very prognostic as to how they do. If you are losing a lot of muscle mass, whether it's related to, you know, your cancer itself or to other causes, you're at risk, increased risk for toxicity, increased risk of mortality, as well as just overall complications. I think, you know, we're focused on trying to better define that because I think you, until you define the issue, it's hard to kind of move forward. But I think in the future, really trying to set up interventions so that we can actually improve that, whether it's a nutrition intervention, whether it's a physical activity intervention, or even augmenting our dosing of chemo to, to try and incorporate that and individualize our treatments based on this parameter, which we're already measuring routine care, we're just not really paying attention to it. Um, 